What is up everybody? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Once again, I am back with another video with you guys showing like-minded individuals like yourself, the ATM business, and how I'm making my money work for me through passive income. My name is Drake and welcome to my channel once again. Thank you guys for hanging out for a little bit, learning something new. If you have not done so, please hit that subscribe button for me, hit that bell notification. We are almost to a thousand, which is kind of hard to believe once you think about it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for subscribing and commenting and all that good stuff. Today is a special video for you guys. It's special for you guys, but unfortunate for me, but I'm happy to do the video for you. Unfortunately, one of my ATMs did have a keypad go bad on it. Unfortunately, it is a highest sung. Yes, unfortunately, that is now my third issue with keypads and highest songs. They are notorious for keypad issues, and uh, I am quickly finding out. Uh, this ATM behind me is an 1800, and yes, it does have a keypad taken out, which I have already done that. And uh, I need to take this keypad with me to another location. Now this ATM I took out of uh, one of my hotels that I have and I replaced it with a Gin Mega machine. Uh, actually it's a handheld machine that I swapped it out with, almost the same thing. And, uh, and I swapped that out because this uh, ATM actually was having some dispenser issues. Uh, when it got down to probably the last 10, 12 bills, it would start uh, having some jamming issues. So I think that issue is due to the dispenser and a spring mechanism uh, in the cash box that is causing that issue. I would figure I would get this machine replaced with a new machine in the location so I was not dealing with those, uh, those jams or dispensing issues and uh, get this keypad out of the, this highest sun, which is uh, 1800 SE and get it installed into another machine at uh, one of my uh, one of my other hotels that I have. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. I hope you guys can learn a little something about setting up and getting a whole new keypad set up for your ATM, as well as uh, what it takes to do it. It's not that hard, I assure you. So let's go to the location. All right guys, so I just got to the location. I am here to swap out a keypad. What uh, some people don't realize is uh, the keypads actually have batteries in them, uh, which is right here. Uh, and sometimes those batteries do go bad. Um, so sometimes the keypads go bad. Unfortunately, with my experience so far, Hyasung has been awesome until keypad issues. I've had two keypad issues, well, three keypad issues now, one of which I was able to reset, and the other two I'm having to replace. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, what I hear, so here is the machine obviously. What's really nice too, not everybody knows, is there's screws here, which, uh, which obviously make it a little difficult to get on the uh, inside of the machine. So I just unscrewed that and it allows me easier access to the keypad. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to uh, unscrew a couple of these screws here and then there's one more I think down at the bottom there I need to get to and then uh, I'll go ahead and swap out this uh, keypad and then hopefully get it up and running one thing I also tried is uh, there's a way to reset the keypad and uh, to do so you need to move this dipstick here the one closest to my finger on Turn on the machine, wait about 15 seconds or so, and then turn it off, and then hit the dipstick back to off. And uh, that has only worked for me once, but it did reset the, uh, the keypad, and I did not have to replace it. This one, unfortunately, it did not go in, so I do, unfortunately, have to replace this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and start unscrewing things, and then uh, get this thing installed.
sometimes these cords get a little stuck. These plugs, rather. There you go. And the last thing I want to do is pull out the cord to where I have to replace the whole cable. So I'm just extra careful with it. And then as you can see here, there's a, a four more screws here which mount the keyboard to the mounting bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these off. You can tell here there's slightly different colors. One is definitely a darker black and then here's a little lighter gray one. I don't really mind what color it is, just as long as it works. <laughs> Let's find out this orientation here. So like this, so like that. So this is the second one now that I've done. Hopefully it works as planned. It is loading up right, bam. And then uh, after it is up and running, I have to unfortunately re-add in all of the master keys. Uh, so I'm gonna do that as well. And then after that, I'm gonna do a test transaction just to make sure everything's working properly. And then I should be good to go. Hopefully it won't take much longer. <laughs> so now, I'm going to add in the uh, index and then the master keys for A and B side. And hopefully all goes as planned. So let's go. So master keys are added. Now it's time to do a, uh, a test transaction just to make sure everything's going well. First I'm gonna add in the cache that I just added. totals which is a whopping zero because it has been inactive uh, for about a week now all right perfect money added fake transaction just to test it out I'm going to use a credit card that does not work just so it uh, reaches my processor to make sure everything's working properly I'm do that real quick if I had a credit card which I do not so I'm going to go get it from the car hello doing okay today good I, I love it Seemed to work just fine. It uh, processed the transaction and then gave a, a decline because I typed in the uh, wrong password or a wrong pin code. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that everything was working properly. Here, um, after a second or two, I'm, uh, I'm going to check the online portal with uh, PAI to make sure that uh, it read the transaction and it's linked to the right account and everything like that so i'm going to test that but first i need to finish uh screwing this in finishing up with the atm and then i'll check it so the whole machine is working properly now i got it tested got it up and running good I'm just going to clean up my mess here at this hotel and then uh, i will check the trance in a second so i'm going to finish cleaning up here finish cleaning up here and i'll talk to you guys in a minute and we're back Keypad is swapped out. Uh, it actually is a really easy process as I'm sure you guys can tell in the video. Honestly, the hardest part uh, to it is getting out 
the plugs into the back of the keypad, which are right here. So you just gotta be careful with those to make sure you don't uh, tear out uh, many of the connections. And, uh, but I guess that's kind of common sense. So I do have, uh, unfortunately, two keypads here, um, both of which have died on me. And, uh, and both of them have come from Hyasung's. Uh, Hyasung, 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 however you guys want to pronounce it. They have bad keypads. So unfortunately, one thing that uh, I do not like, and honestly, Halo is, has been awesome, um, the Halo machines uh, with Hyasung. The only thing, the only gripe that I have so far with them is uh, now the keypads. They just die too easy, and with these batteries um, or extra usage, honestly, I don't know what is killing these things, um, but this is now my second one that I've had to replace. And uh, the other one, which actually, the keypad that was in here, um, I did the reset on the keypad, uh, like I talked about um, at the beginning of the video, which I tried to do, uh, but it didn't work for the keypad that I just replaced. But on this, uh, this machine here, all I had to do was reset the keypad and then it started working. Obviously that's a free fix, so hopefully you can get it to reset like that. Um, but if you can't, unfortunately a new keypad is in order. And I did have this machine, which I was gonna pull from another location anyways, due to how it's, uh, due to the maintenance of it. And uh, I got a keypad from it. So now the next thing I guess, uh, is I'll get an updated keypad swap out the uh, the dispenser or make sure the dispenser is working properly and then I'll be able to deploy it again. Uh, I did upgrade the EMV uh, card reader on it when I first got the machine. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but this is actually the free machine that I got um, from one of my locations. Uh, I was able to get them, or I was able to convince them that I can get this machine out and get them a brand new machine and uh, they just gave it to me. All it needed was an EMV card reader and I was good to go. So that has been installed at the location now for probably 10 months or so, 11 months, um, and it's been working well, but time for an upgrade or time for some updating. And it just so happened I needed a new keypad from it, so I took it from it. I'm very happy everything went smoothly as promised, uh, oddly enough, the, uh, the general manager of that hotel that I was just at, uh, he is awesome. Him and I are able to talk about IHG stuff since I do work for IHG hotels. And uh, it's kind of neat just uh, meeting people through the ATM business and through the hotel business and ATMs bring us together. I don't know, kind of cool. Thank you guys once again for uh, subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please do so. Uh, it really is helping out. And like I said earlier, we're almost to a thousand subscribers. Leave me comments if you want. Add me on Instagram. Uh, ask questions. If I can help you out, I totally will. Um, so I hope you guys are having a good day today. For me, I am exhausted. It's now getting late. I'm ready for some dinner. I think the wife is getting Chipotle. So that seems like a good dinner for me. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Like I'm gonna enjoy this Chipotle. And keep working hard, keep grinding, keep hustling, just like it's Monday. Until next time, guys. Later.